Hey guys, what's going on? Brandon here. Today I'm doing my review of the new Amazon Prime show, Gen V, or at least the first four episodes of the new Amazon Prime show, Gen V. And this is a spinoff of The Boys, Amazon Prime's The Boys, which is an incredible show. Just an absolutely, absolutely incredible show. So I was excited about this. I did um, hear that, you know, Evan Goldberg was heavily involved in the, you know, in the making of this, which is, you know, he should be, you know, considering he was an executive producer on The Boys and he, you know, heavily involved in that show. So you have to get him heavily involved in this too to make sure, you know, everything goes smoothly. And I absolutely love these first four episodes. Um, there's still some things I'm trying to figure out as far as like what's exactly going on, especially after at the end of the last episode. Um, with the kind of weird, like, jump, jump cut from one scene to a completely different scene with kind of the main characters. And it seems like even uh, Jazz Sinclair, who play, who plays um, the main character in this show, Marie Monroe, who was very confused at the end of that. So yeah, it's still some stuff I'm trying to figure out as far as what's going on. Um, but I love... Just, you know, I, I love the gore, I love the humor, I love just, this really does feel like The Boys, and it should. It should feel like The Boys, but it should also feel like The Boys without, you know, the the actual, you know, The Boys. You know, without but, you know, Billy Butcher and, and, um, and Huey and, you know, the gang. It should feel like the boys, but without any of those characters. And it does. It does to a, to a great degree. So I'm happy about that. Um, you know, it, it has the same humor. It has the same gore and, 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 and crazy, like, things that happen um, revolving around, you know, genitalia. <laughs> Uh, a lot, a lot of dicks, a lot, of, a lot of dicks in the first episode, and in the most recent episode, um, there was yet another dick. So, you know, uh, a lot of things <laughs> happen in the show that, you know, very comedic and very well timed. You know, you're just very happy that you know you're getting the show that isn't afraid to take chances as well. Because honestly, you know, when I see Clancy Brown in the first episode, I'm thinking that he's going to play at least some role, some significant role in the first season. He really hasn't so far. I mean, not from like, I mean, I guess he has, but he died in the first episode. So since he died in the first episode, most of the, you know, at the end of the first episode, he died. So... Most of what he has done from the show is kind of the, his character, you know, you still get, like, mentions of him, and you get other things, like, it's, it's kind of in the background, his, uh, kind of, uh, role in the show. Um, you get, you know, really good actors in the show, like Jazz Sinclair, and, a uh, Chance, uh, I don't remember his last name, um, Maddie Phillips is very good. London Thor is very good. Um, just everyone all around. Uh, Lizzie, Lizzie Broadway. Just everyone does their job very well. Um, Patrick Schwarzenegger, um, for when he's in the mil movie, or for when, for when he's in the show, um, does, a, does a fantastic job. Um, I believe him as Golden Boy. Um, you know, and if you've seen the, the spoilers, you know, spoilers, obviously, like, spoilers, I mean, I spoiled stuff already, so I guess I'm a little late to saying that, but usually I say that very early, my bad, but spoilers, you know, since Golden Boy does die in the first episode, but you get some, like, flashbacks and other things with him in, you know, you know, episodes after that, I really believe him as this character, and I believe that he's not, like, this you know, I don't think that Golden Boy is, like, a bad dude, like, a bad guy. 
I feel like Golden Boy was always trying to do the right thing. Um, and I feel that really about all of the characters so far. Or all of our main characters. Obviously not all of the characters. Um, because, you know, everything going on with the woods. Um, very bad, very bad. Obviously they're not trying to do the right thing. Um, but the main characters, they're all trying to do the right thing. Sure, they're, they're you know, they're young. Um, they're, you know, they're young characters um, in the show, so they are going to make mistakes along the way. But it seems like our main characters are heroes that actually want to be heroes. Unlike, you know, what we see in The Boys. Um, this takes place shortly after, I, I believe, season three of The Boys. And I just, I am absolutely loving the show so far. Everything about this show, the cast, the humor, the, the uh, storyline, I'm very interested and engaged. And the dialogue between characters, the writing, the, the, the action, the, the gore, everything. I love everything about this show so far and I just hope that it continues along this way I love this past episode with um with, with uh Ted and I, I don't know if we're gonna see him again um this season um I kind of have a feeling we probably won't because of what happened at the end of the um episode but I do think that we could see him possibly in the future again and um I'm I'm all for it I really liked what we got from from a uh, night so there we go um i don't really have a ton more to say um that was just my overarching thoughts on the first four episodes um for the next like you know for every other um episode for all the you know episodes what i think there's five so eight episodes in the season so episodes what uh five through eight i plan on doing a more like comprehensive um, review, but, um, of, like, you know, each episode, whereas this, I kind of had to talk about the bullet points that I really liked, and the bullet points that I want to talk about, I want to talk about the cast, and every, you know, all the things that, you know, I hadn't gotten a chance to talk about before, so maybe I can get more, um, a more comprehensive review done for the next, uh, four episodes to go. Um, but I'm very excited to talk about it. I'm very excited to talk about the next four episodes. Um, uh, Wednesday night, which I believe, well, I guess by the time this video goes up, it actually might be tonight. Um, I will be doing a Chucky um, season three, episode two review. I'm very excited for that. <laughs> very excited, very excited to see that. And to, you know, see what's, you see what's going on in the White House in that show. So, very excited for that. And, um, that's what I have to say. So, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And you can follow me on Twitter and the link in the description below. Peace. Out.